Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create your first repository on AWS code commit and how to configure access to the code commit repository using SSH. I have logged into the AWS management console using the IAM user. Let's go and review whether the user has the necessary permissions. Log into IAM. Click users. You can see this user has the administrator access policy assigned to it, which means this user can perform all administrator related activities. So in case if you wanted to create a new user and wanted to assign only the code commit related uh, policies to it, you can create the user and go to the user and then click add permissions, click add permissions and then select the attach policies directly radio button and then you can search for the code commit related policies. You can see here there are three code commit policies available. Uh, AWS code commit full access, AWS code commit power user and AWS code commit read only access. So if you want to give that user privilege to create the repositories and perform other activities, you can give either the AWS commit full access or AWS code commit power user policies. Now let's go to code commit. So let's create our first repository by clicking the create repository button. Give the name for the repository. So let's give the name as my app. So the description is optional. And then you can even add tags to the repository. Now click create. So the repository has been successfully created. So now in this video, we are going to see how using SSH, we will be able to connect to this code repository from our local system. So I'm going to show how to do this from the Mac OS. The first prerequisite is you need to have the Git client installed on the system. So already I have the Git client installed on my system. Let's confirm that by giving the Git version. Yes, the Git version 2.39.1 is installed on my system. So the next step is you need to create an SSH public private key pair and then upload that. Okay, so let's go and create the SSH public private key pair. So for that, I'm moving to my .ssh folder. So I'm going to use the SSH keygen command for that. I'm going to pass the RSA and then I'm going to use 4096 and click enter. I'm going to give the name code underscore commit underscore RSA. Press enter. I'm not going to give any fast phrase. Okay, so let us confirm whether the files has been created. Yes, we could see the public and the private SSH key pair has been created. Uh, before creating the config file, we need to upload the public key. So let's get the content of the public key. to IAM security credentials this is where we need to upload the public key so let's create the public key so public key we have uploaded so this is the ID which we need which we need to give in the name of user so let's copy this now let's create the config file first let's add the host name which is git hyphen code commit dot amazon aws dot com we are giving asterisks here so that we'll get we'll be able to ssh to the code commit repository in any region and then the user so we need to paste the this thing then we need to 
identity file location so it is available under dot ssh and the name is code commit underscore rc okay so let's give the read and write access for that file okay so now we are good to go so let's get into the place where we wanted to flow the repository first let's try to ssh to the code commit commit let's confirm the location so the location is us east one on aws.com okay so we get see the message you have successfully authenticated over ssh so now again let's go to code commit So we have done all these steps we have added the host and we have added the user and id file everything the next is to copy the to clone the repository so we have successfully cloned the repository so as expected we are getting the message that you appear to have cloned an empty repository because the repository doesn't have any content so let's get into the repository let's create a file i'm going to add it to the app.txt file so let's confirm the file has been created and the content okay so now let's check the git status so the git status says we have an untracked file but it is not tracked by git so we need to, for tracking it we need to do a git add so now let's check the status yes so it says no commit set but there are changes available to commit so let's do the commit So we have successfully committed the file, created the file locally, but we have not pushed the changes yet. So do a git push. Now we have successfully pushed the changes to the code commit repository. Now let us go and see whether the file is appearing in the code commit repository or not. we can see the app doc txt file which just now we pushed from our local system and you can see the content also in this demo we have seen how to create a code commit repository and how to configure ssh and using ssh how to clone the repository and then create a new file and push the file to the code commit repository Thanks for watching the demo.